Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs are back to back national champions of college football. And that means they had a parade over the weekend celebrating and honoring the 2022 Georgia Bulldogs for their big accomplishment. And that means recruits were in attendance. There were plenty of big time commitments and targets in Athens helping to celebrate Georgia's big national championship. And that's what this video is all about and be breaking down which prospects were in town, what they told me about their visit and where Georgia stands in their recruitment. But first, it's weird making this video because of the news that came out this morning, Sunday morning, uh, Devin Willick, Chandler LaCroix killed in the car accident uh, early Sunday morning. And I hate to make these videos and I have stories that I have to write and I don't know when to write them because it's, it all, but it feels so soon after this, just devastating, just absolutely heartbreaking. Um, I don't know what really more to say. Uh, I'm still struggling, uh, and, and accepting what happened. I know Devin a little bit. I know his coaches. Uh, from Paramus Catholic a little bit better. They were very good to me when I was covering his recruitment. Great people. And they only had great things to say about this young man, uh, Chandler LaCroix. Uh, she was a hardworking, you know, staff member on the football program. People need to remember her. Uh, she knew all the players. So, and all the recruits that come in, she sees them and gets to know them. So this was just, this is awful news. I, I don't know what other way to say it, but at the end of the day, Unfortunately, I still have to work and make content for y'all, create content for dog posts. That's, that's how we, you know, I don't want to say make money because this is more than that, but we have to keep going. And I, I don't even want to make this video, honestly, but I, I have to in a way. And I'm just going to get through it because this is still the only thing on my mind. And if you're a Georgia fan, I know you're still talking about this. So don't hate me for making a video, please. But there is a lot going on, and I'm just going to jump right into it. Ryan Puglisi, quarterback commit in the 24 class, was in Athens celebrating, uh, and this is the quote that he gave me. I asked basically how the trip was. He said, my favorite part of the visit was being able to see the whole staff again and how they always make me feel like I'm at home. I love everyone there. I love what Georgia stands for. I'm ex so excited to be a dog. UGA is a very special place because of how successful they are in everything they do. They do everything at a very high level. Also, I just want to say prayers to Devin Willick and Chandler LaCroix, a true tragedy, and their families and the university have my condolences and my heart. So he made sure to bring them up as well as I think everyone is. I stopped reaching out to people. I got four interviews, four stories that I have to write eventually. Probably won't be anytime soon, but I just stopped reaching out to people because it's it's really not the time and it's still probably a little too early to make this video. But again, like we, we have to keep it going, unfortunately, at times like this, but it is what it is. He also said, also meeting with Coach Smart early in the morning was definitely a highlight of the weekend. He always treats my family amazing. I was with Coach Munkin all weekend. We basically spent every second together. His offense is incredible, something I cannot wait to work in. I'm super excited to get developed under him. This kid's a big deal. He is a big deal, top 100 player in the country. Dylan Raiola is the big prize, number one player in the country, but Ryan Puglisi can lead Georgia to a championship. There's no doubt in my mind about that. The staff loves him. He's got an electric arm. He can move. He's accurate. He checks just about every box, and his ranking is only going to improve over time. Kid's a big deal. Loves Georgia. Jaden Perlate uh, at Buford, linebacker. He's a commitment in the 2025 class. Um, he gave me an update as well. Seeing all the fans come back and enjoy this moment was his favorite part. Uh, that shows you how much the fans love the program. Seeing all the players talk really clicked to me. This isn't an ordinary place. They are uh, the best in America. This place is going to develop me into a great player. More importantly, a better man. He said, I spoke to Glenn Schumann a lot about how they, how they were going to use me inside in coverage. Um, and he said that he's trying to get Edric uh, Houston, who I'm going to talk about in just a second. KJ Bolden, Nick Brooks. All big time players at Buford. They might be called the Wolves, but I can guarantee you that a lot of these current Wolves are going to be Georgia Bulldogs in the future. So just keep that in mind. Jaden Perlate, big time player, probably a top five player in the state of Georgia for that 25 class. Definitely a guy to know. And his teammate, Edric Houston, five star defensive lineman out of Buford. Georgia's been on him for a long time. 
briefly spoke with him as well. He said his favorite part was hearing all the different people speak highly of Coach Smart and about what he has done as a coach besides winning back-to-back -back championships. He is making me feel like a top priority. He makes sure everything is good outside of football instead of just burying you with why you should go to Georgia. And you see that a lot. I mean, Kirby knows what he's doing. He connects with these kids in another way. It's not like they just walk in his office and he's saying, here's why you should go to Georgia, one, two, three, or A, B, C, and, and that's it. He he connects with them. And this program is all about connection. That's what they've said all year, and that's what makes this tragedy that much worse is because he was, you know, Devin and uh, Chandler were so connected within the team. I can't imagine what the the team, the coaches, the players, obviously his family and friends back home, her family and friends back home. But this team is, I don't want to say broken right now, uh, but they're going through a lot. So continue to keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And Edric basically told me he, he said it's like a family out there and they make you feel important. Talking about the staff, he said when you get there, you know they're they're all about energy. Um, they're smiling. Everyone is you know treating everyone uh, like their family and. Um, a lot of the players, I think, spoke with him about what more makes Georgia great, what makes them the best football program and one of the best schools in the entire country. And he's a five-star guy that I've seen in person multiple times, and he is the real deal. He dominated Thompson in week one. He was just all in the backfield. That was the best program in Alabama at the point. And Edric Houston was living in the backfield, attacking the quarterback, about 6'5", 260. So I, I think he's he'll play inside. But in certain situations, you could probably have him on the edge there. But he's a big-time player to know. Top 10 player in the country, I think. Uh, I think if you look at 247, those rankings, top 10 player in the country. That is a big, big deal. And I've said it before, Georgia is going to clean up in the state of Georgia. If they want to lock it down, they can. They did not really recruit the in-state much in 2023. That's going to be different in 2024. Edric Houston KJ Bolden, two guys at Buford, uh, and countless others. Uh, the state is loaded in 2024, and I think George is going to have their way uh, for sure in that class. Uh, Daniel Calhoun, another 2024 prospect, big-time offensive lineman out of uh, Centennial High School in Roswell. I've got to know him a good bit during his recruitment so far. Um, sent me a picture with the white helmet. Those are sick. I, I wish Georgia would kind of wear the white helmets at least once. They are good-looking helmets. Um, he said being able to sit on the field to be part of the celebration as a recruit was the thing that, uh, stuck with him the most. I asked what makes Georgia special. He said talking with coach Kirby Smart, coach Searles instructing me on how to play the offensive line, uh, is what stands out. And he said the fans, he said the fans were just crazy, ridiculous, loud, even for a celebration like this wasn't even a game day and they, they were loud and, and going nuts. So he said that definitely stood out to him the most. Um, I asked him, so what do you like about coach Searles? He said, I like the way he coaches. <laughs> Uh, uh, his offensive line and the, the way the players respond to him. For example, we watch game film on how the players are finishing blocks. So he's telling these guys, hey, you play to the whistle at Georgia. Uh, you block and you drive your opponent backwards and you dig them, bury them in the ground until that whistle is blown. I think Daniel Calhoun is saying, you know what? I like that a lot. Uh, Searles has done a great job. No doubt about that. And uh, I, I think he's going to have a very, very successful big time class in 2024. And I asked him, I said, what makes him such a good coach and what makes him such a good recruiter? And he said, I think what makes him a good coach is the technique that he teaches. He wants you to bring effort in everything that you do. And that's what I'm about. So Daniel Calhoun, I think in my personal rankings, you're not going to find these rankings anywhere else other than dog post. I think he's the number three player in the entire state of Georgia for the 24 class. I'm higher on Dal uh, on Daniel Calhoun than I think anyone else is. 6'6", six, six, about 340. Bends, he's powerful, he's strong. He will uh, take you out of a play. Um, run blocking, he's going to throw you backwards. Pass protection, he's going to stone you. When he gets his hands on you, you're done. Um, he's a big-time player. I think he has five-star potential. I'd probably rank him as a low five-star uh, right now. I, I think he's terrific, terrific uh, young player with a lot of potential. He's only going to get better. And I think Georgia might be the team to beat for him as well. Could be a Georgia-Alabama battle for Daniel Calhoun out of Centennial High School in the end. So 
Those are just four guys who I reached out to uh, once the news happened this morning. I think you're watching this on Monday, but I'm making this Sunday. Once the news came out, I just I just stopped reaching out to people. It's not important. This video is not important. I hope it kind of took your mind away from what's going on for five, six minutes, you know, the time when I wasn't talking about it. But I, I, I hate I hate this. And um, I, I'll start writing eventually. I'll put write some of these stories. But. I don't know when to do it because um, none of this is important right now, but I know that it, it's my job to make these videos and write stories and I have to do my job, but it, it does feel like this is way too soon. I don't want to be doing any of this right now, uh, but I don't, I don't know when to start going back to work after a tragedy like this. But anyway, I, I hope you'll like this video. I hope it, I didn't make it too soon. We, we got to make content, but it just, awful awful news this morning um and i hope i kind of distracted you a little bit thanks for watching um continue thoughts and prayers for daniel calhoun chandler Lacroix, and the rest of the georgia football community because they need it right now um thanks for watching i'll see you on the website